This is a message to parents from Dr. Adam Munns, Director of Psychological Services at St. Luke's site of St. Luke's Roosevelt Center and Clinical Professor of Medical Psychology, Columbia University. What we're going to do in this brief video is attempt to provide a tool to help reduce a child's anxiety stemming from a divorce or pending divorce situation, either in the child's own home or in the home of a friend. The young child frequently feels responsible for parents divorcing or separating. They feel resentment, fear, and helplessness, and cannot easily express their feelings. In most instances, talking it out with parents is reassuring, and this is our main purpose. We hope this will encourage your children to talk about it amongst themselves and with their parents and close relatives. We suggest you view this video by yourself first, and if possible with your spouse in order to prepare yourself for the questions that are bound to come from your child. Then show the video to the child beginning with the introduction music that follows this message. Most important, create a warm and pleasant atmosphere for the child viewing this. and girls, this is your Uncle Storyteller, mm -hmm. your Owl Uncle Sto- mm -hmm. your Uncle Owl Storyteller. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time there were three bears, and they lived in the forest in a cozy house. There was Mama Bear, and Papa Bear, and Baby Bear. I think I know the story. Mama Bear had been cooking porridge and put the porridge in three bowls. A big bowl for Papa Bear, and a middle-sized bowl for Mama Bear, and a teeny-weeny bowl. I know, I know this story. Let's turn off the TV and go out and play. One moment, please. This is a very different story mm, from the story you know, the three bears. This is about four bears and some of their friends and... Some... Goldilocks. Well, yes, Goldie is one of their friends, and when she meets Baby Bear, several years have gone by. Little Bear, Little Bear, now, I'm not a baby anymore. In fact, I have a baby sister, and she is Baby Bear. So there. Ooh, of course, sorry, ba Little Bear. I know you're all grown up now, and, and you don't cry anymore. He died. Oh, do not. Well, maybe I'm not all grown up yet, but I'm no baby. You cry when Mama Bear and Papa Bear argue and fight. Only sometimes. There, there, little bear. <laughs> Got it right that time. I understand. No, you don't. No one does. No one does. And we're running away. Maybe if we're not here, Mama and Papa won't fight. Shh, don't tell. Sure doesn't sound like the story I remember. Sure doesn't. Let's stick around and watch. Little Bear, Baby Bear. If Mama Bear and Papa Bear argue and fight with one another, it's not your fault. Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. We know. Mama said one thing, Papa said another. I thought that being married meant they had to love each other. Mama says, You're always getting home late and the food is getting cold. You never like the way I look. You make me feel so old. Papa says, Every single day I work my fingers to the bone. And then I have to hear complaints as soon as I get home. Wrong, so 
but don't feel bad. Mama says you never want to listen. You always think you're right. If I say please take the garbage out, it starts another fight. Papa says you always say you're tired because you always do too much. You never know what's going on. You're always out of touch. Anything wrong, so don't feel bad. Oh, little bear, baby bear, where are you, dear? Come here, come here. That's my dears. That's my sweet little bear and my sweet baby bear. Mama's made you some honey porridge with dandelions, just the way you love it. Come and sit, come and sit. Honey porridge? Isn't it my birthday? With dandelions? Something is very, very. Oh, no, no, my sweet bears. It's not your birthday. Just something special for Mommy who loves you. Sit down. I want to talk to you. Uh-oh. What did I do now? Uh-oh. What did he do now? Yes, Mama. My baby bears, listen. Little bear, I'm little bear. I'm not a baby anymore. I know, dear, but you'll always be my baby. No matter how big you grow, I love you both so, so. Mmm, good porridge. <clears throat> baby bear, good. little bear, your father and oh. I. Where is Papa? Little bear, stop that and listen. I'm just eating the porridge you made for me. Good. Oh, well, I know, my dears. I'm sorry, but please pay attention. Your father... Where is Papa? That's what I'm trying to tell you. What? He's away. Away? Away? Where? Where? Your father and I are separating. He's gone to live in the pine part of the forest. Step or eating? What's that? Papa hates the pine part of the forest. What's that for me? It means Papa Bear's not going to live here with us. Not live with us? But he'll come and see you, and you'll go to see him very often. Every day? Every morning? When he reads me a story before bed? Oh, baby bears, no, no, not every day, but almost, I mean every week, and Saturday or Sunday, and he'll take you to picnics and everything, just like now. He won't come home with the funnies every night? Oh, my sweet little bears. Shh. Your papa and I are going to be... Your papa and I will be much happier. We won't argue and fight anymore, and we'll love you and be with you, but not together. Your papa and I are going to be divorced. Do what? Divorced. We won't live together. We'll each have our own house, and you little bears will have two homes instead of one. Divorce worse than step or eighteen. Divorce, divorce, dee 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 Little bear, divorce is just agreeing to separate. If Papa Bear and I... I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to. Shh. But little bear, we should talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. What's Mama talking about? What's Mama talking about? Mama loves us. Papa loves us. How can Papa leave us? How can Mama let him? This just can't be true. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. And besides that, we have other things to do. What if Mama leaves too? I'm not ever going to leave you, and Papa will always be near. So come into the kitchen now and finish your porridge, dears. Papa's going to visit you soon. Little bear, baby bear, how's my big little bear and my sweet baby bear? And I got something for you. For me? For me? Yep, just for you and you. This super bumble beehive honey trapper is for little bear. 
The one I always wanted? The one with the big scoop and the stingproof hat. Wow! What's for me? What's for me? This new pink polka dot apron. Whee! With a super special dandelion picker pocket. Wow! Whee! But why? It's not my birthday. It's not Christmas. It's just to tell you that I love you both very much, and I always want you around, and I'll always be around. We know. Yeah, we know. Well, your mama and I are going to be living in different places, and... We know. Yeah, we know. But I'll see you all the time. Uh, let's talk about it. Can I try on my bee sting proof hat? Will you tie my apron on in the back? Little bear, baby bear, this is important. Yeah, we know. I'm busy, I'm busy. Want to find the bumblebees? I'm busy, I'm busy. Want to pick some dandy one? Or do you want to play another game or two? Let's sit down and talk about this. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. And besides that, we have other things to do. Your mama and I have decided. We don't want to talk about it. Your papa is not going to live here anymore. We don't want to talk about it. It's not true. But papa can still. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to. We don't want to. And besides that, we have other things to do. I know. We'll run away. And then Mama and Papa will have to de divorce. Let's go. We'll go far away all by ourselves, and we won't be afraid. No, not afraid. Baby bear, little bear, where are you going? I was just coming to visit you and Mama Bear and Papa Bear. Don't bother visiting, Goldie. Papa's not there, and Mama's rearranging all the furniture. We're running away. Why? Just because Mama Bear is rearranging the furniture? They're getting d d divorced, and it's all our fault. And it's all our fault. You may feel that way, but listen, Mama is still Mama, and Papa is still Papa, and Little Bear and Baby Bear, you are still you. Think about how they feel. Sometimes love turns a corner, sometimes love goes astray. Your Papa loves you, I will forever. But he just can't live here anymore He just can't stay It's not your fault that they love For each other had to change It's not your fault Their, Their love for you is as strong It'll always be the same It's not your fault It's not your fault it's not your fault. You may think your world is crumbling and your heart is breaking too. Your mama loves you, I will forever. Though your mom and I have grown apart, we're here for you. It's not your fault that they love for each other had to change. It's not your fault. Their love for you is as strong, it'll always be the same. It's not your fault, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Their love for you is as strong, it'll always be the same. It's not your fault, it's not your fault, it's not your fault. Their love you had to change, it's not your fault, it's not your fault. Their love you had to change, it's not your fault, it's not your fault. Well, it's easy for you to say, 
but I'm still running away. And maybe if we're extra good and we wish hard enough, it won't happen. Woo-hoo. Wishing doesn't make it so. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Why don't I come along with you? Sometimes it's good to have someone to talk to. Talk, talk, talk. I don't want to read a lot. We, we don't want to talk, talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. Little Bear, what don't you want to talk about? Mama Bear and Papa Bear, that's what. And separation and the divorce. Oh, I know what you mean. My papa left my mama and me alone, and it was no fun. We were very poor, but I sold the cow and got some magic beans, and this beanstalk grew, and I climbed it to the giant's castle, and I've got his golden goose right here, and... I know all about your beanstalk, Jack. You do? (coughs) But it just happened. I know, and my papa just left home. And mama is rearranging the furniture. We're running away. We can't change their minds. How can we be happy if they're so sad? That's no way to act. You never help anything by running away from it. Woo-hoo. That's right. Woo-hoo. You can make the best of what you think may be the worst, and all you got to do is make a little magic. Jiggle a magic bean or two and mix them into a magic stew, and suddenly things will not be sad or Tragic. Let your imagination loose and you will find your golden goose Like I made my beanstalk grow out of the ground So jiggle a magic bean or two The magic is there to help you through And make a smile out of a frown You can turn a downside up A cloud into a buttercup Just close your eyes and paint a pretty Wiggle your ears and tap your toes Until you see right in front of your nose The most incredible, beautiful, magical mixture Let your imagination loose And you will find your golden goose Like I made my beanstalk grow out of the ground So it can't always make your dreams come true Sometimes you're gonna be sad and blue But magic is so nice to have around Turn a downside up, a cloud into a buttercup Just close your eyes and paint a pretty picture Wiggle your ears and tap your toes Until you see right in front of your nose The most incredible, beautiful, magical mixture Let your imagination loose and you will find your golden goose Like I made my beanstalk grow out of the ground it can't always make your dreams come true Sometimes you're gonna be sad and blue But magic is so nice to have around Better go home like I did after I sold the cow mm. Woohoo! Yes, woohoo! So Little Bear and Baby Bear went back home And they wiggled their ears and tapped their toes And let their imagination loose And things weren't that bad The furniture looked pretty nice, and Papa took them berry-picking every Sunday, and Mama didn't cry anymore and seemed very much happier. Then, suddenly one day, Mama Bear had visitors. Hello there, Mr. Brown Bear. Oh, thank you for the lovely flowers. And this must be Scruffy. Hello, Scruffy dear. Little bear, baby bear, we have company. Come say hello. 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 Hello there, little bear. Put her there. And dear baby bear, uh, this is Scruffy, my little bear. And very soon, Scruffy will be your step bear brother. And I will be your step papa bear. And think of the fun you kids can have, sharing your toys and games in your room together. Uh, A little bear, baby bear, you see, Mr. Brown Bear and I, well, we are, you see, um... You see, we're going to get married, and we'll all be great pals. Married? Step Papa? Step Brother? Share my room and my toys? 
Where is my Papa Bear? Little Bear Baby Bear, come back here. It will all work out. And Mama said, this is Scruffy. And Mr. Brown Bear said, he'll be your step bear brother. Ugh. Well, Little Bear <laughs> and Baby Bear, I know it sounds strange, <laughs> but you're not giving yourself a chance to even get to know Scruffy. You might even get to like him. Like him? Who needs a step bear brother to share my room and play with my toys? Well, sometimes it's good to have another little bear around to play with and talk with. And he may have some toys you might like to play with. <laughs> little bear, baby bear, I just heard about it from Goldilocks. Aren't you lucky? Lucky? Yes, I heard that Mama Bear is getting married again and that you're going to have a little stepbrother. You mean Scruffy? He's skinny and tall and I hate him. And he's gonna play with our toys. You ought to know, Cinderella, with those two terrible stepsisters you had to live with. Oh, I do know, Little Bear, I do. But in the end, it all worked out pretty nicely. Nicely? They made you wash and clean and scrub and sew and... And they were mean to you. But that was only at the beginning of the story. Most stepbrothers and sisters feel just like you do at first. But, you see, after the prince found the glass slipper and it fit Cinderella's foot, her stepsisters were never mean to her again. They are the best of friends now. Look at it this way, little bear. Think about how nice it could be, baby bear. A step sister or a step brother or a step father or a step mother is a step closer to a new family and a new family is fun for everyone there's new toys for sharing new ways of caring more hands for holding more ideas unfolding lots of brand new feelings happy wondrous feelings they're only a step or two away from you if you take a step closer to it that's right i knew it i knew you could do it now you're getting closer keep I'm getting closer, all you've got to do is step closer, just a little closer to the love that's right there for you. Talk it over with Mama or Papa Bear and you'll see how much they really care. Ruffy? Yeah? Want to play with my bumblebee honey trapper? Gee, can I? Sure, you can't even wear a stingproof hat. Wow! Oh, your mom. 
Mom and I have grown apart. We're here for you. It's not your fault that they love for each other had to change. It's not your fault. Their love for you is as strong as the love we see the same. It's not your fault. 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 It's not your fault.